Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look, look in on my Northeast Worms European night crawlers, and we'll see what they are up to. So this bin was started with one pound of adult large European night crawlers from Gatano at Northeast Worms, and we fed them a ton of pumpkin last time. So what we're going to do is we are going to this looks a little too wet to sift, so we're not going to get a harvest out of these guys today. But what we are going to do is, you're going to probably guess that these are pumpkin seedlings. So I'm going to steal a couple of these from the worms, and I am going to stick them in a pot so that I can uh, possibly grow pumpkins this year. Maybe. We'll grab a couple. How about that? We'll grab a couple and see what happens. I've not tried to uh, grow vegetables before, um, just trees that came from the worm farm, so we'll see how that goes. So I see I've got a couple of the um, cranberries from last time. I'm going to keep flipping this so that it can get dried out a little bit because I really could use the castings in here. Oh, what, what? Oh, oh, there was a plastic. Remember we had a piece of plastic that was embedded in the food last time and I said that I would come back when it was clean. And look at that. The worms did in fact clean off that plastic. So no food left, just plastic. And I can remove that from the bin. But this side does feel a little damper than I would like it to be for the finished castings that I'm going to try and harvest very soon. So I am going to kind of mix that up a little bit, and we won't uh, put a lid on this side this time because it does really need to hurry up and get going. Um, I will go ahead and put below what we had for feeding the last time. But we're going to kind of turn things over here and, and see what we've got. I know that it was a lot of pumpkin. Um, and I know we had ginger still, which is not sprouting. We'll kind of set that off to the side. That way when I put it back, I can possibly take a look at it and, and see if I think there's anything we can do about uh, growing it. Now this is what happens to the avocado pit once it starts getting ready to dissolve. So looking in here still, more ginger. I don't know. <clears throat> I think there was somebody who said that they had done this with ginger before and it took a very, very long time. So there's the part of me that hopes it, it sprouts. Look at these monsters. They are some good size worms. Lots of babies too. So these are well on their way to getting a, a huge population of European nightcrawlers for me. And these guys really is, for the most part, their job is to eat food and uh, create castings for the garden. But uh, should I manage to get some spare time to go fishing, I will probably also take them fishing with me, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that everything is up here again and any sort of food is, or sprouts are down at the bottom. And then we are going to go ahead and give them a little bit more bedding here in the bottom. And then we're going to give them some more food. Okay, looks like we've got some maybe rice noodles and some moldy bread and some tomatoes. And this looks like a big, big chunk of loaf of bread. I think I better go get that some water because there's that's going to turn into a brick on me. Let me go get some water. So I am going to do something I would never, never suggest that you do and pour water in your bin. But this is a big, huge rock of bread. And if I don't do that, it is never going to get soft. I'm going to put that orange on top. Put all the bread as close to the bottom as I can so that it it will suck up all that water. And then these noodles can just, I don't know, I've never tried uh, rice noodles. Let me know in the comments below if you uh, have ever fed rice noodles before. 
All right, so let me get them some more bedding to cover this up and keep the gnats away. Okay, so this is my prepared bedding. I can put a link below as to how I make the prepared bedding so that the worms can get into their food faster. So this wedge is getting pretty full now. Um, hopefully the next time if I leave the lid off, this part here will be ready to harvest and then this part will have collapsed down a little bit and then we'll be able to feed them up again in a couple of weeks. If you like the wedge method or if you want to see more about the European night crawlers, I will go ahead and put a link over here and if you want to uh, see any more about what they did last time I will put that link over there. Alright guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.